<laughs> All right, so good morning, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, right? Depends on where they are. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be watching mm -hmm. from. Yeah, good day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And you're welcome to our show once again. It's called Life Issues with yeah. Yan. Yeah. So before we go in, can you remember any memorable Valentine period for you? Much like that first, I remember <laughs> some years ago. Ah, uh, there was this particular girl <clears throat> I was tripping for. <laughs> I was really tripping. You know, I, I was like, I was I was, you know, um, a monitoring spring to that girl for over three years. Where was this? While I was in school. Who are you? You know. So you're doing canopy ministry? No, she she never said yes to me. Yeah, maybe that's canopy ministry. And I, I actually wanted her, you know. I remember my dad even knows about her. You know. Then, you know, I was on her neck. Girl, girl, I love you, I love you. I remember that. I've never had this story. I remember that. Now it's good that you're here. You know? <laughs> I imagine. remember that. I left OEU. That, that, my, oh, that was my school, my album art, by the way. I left OU and I went to University of Illinois. You know, that would be my first time going to Illinois. You know, Valentine period too. You know, I bought a lot. That would be my first time of buying things for a lady. I bought a lot of things. I, I remember that I even bought Arsenal jersey. Oh. <laughs> bought so many things for this lady, you know, wow. and I had to return to Ife that same day. So is it your little pocket money that you used to do at home? Yeah, my pocket money. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite amazing the way um, um, teenagers you know, express love. Yeah. And, uh, this thing is, is inbuilt. It's something that you cannot help when you love somebody, you really want to express it. It only takes the grace of God. It takes your understanding. It takes your background. You know, teenage, to, 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 to behave rightly. Yeah, I was about saying that yeah. um, most of them, not necessarily because of love, mm. but because of peer pressure. Yeah. They see everybody doing it. Is the in thing now? Yeah. Everybody's doing Valentine, so you have to belong to. Yeah, and it's so amazing the way the word Valentine has been misconstrued. Yeah, yeah. you know it has it has. She likes it evolved it over has time. It has lost its original meaning yeah. and purpose. A lot of people now see Valentine as an avenue to have sex. Yeah. With a lot of people even see. You know, on my way, <laughs> on my way um, home. Yesterday, okay. Um, I just overheard a woman talking because I am I, I, I happen to be passing through where they were selling little little packaged gifts okay. for Valentine. I even said, Okay, let me pop and see what they are selling. Then I overheard a woman saying, See them, see them, see them. See them. They are looking for Valentine clothes up and down. Before you know it, it's now they will carry the letter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Wow, wow. But she was right, you know. Mm. So many people this February 14th, before yeah. you know it, you'll see the results in November. So that, that brings us to the topic of today's discussion. What does Valentine really mean to you? Uh, I want you to comment in the, I mean, to drop your comments below. Let us know what Valentine's means to you. Be honest, be honest. Tell us your, 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 view your experience, your past experience, your weird experience, you know. <laughs> Um, celebrating, you know, <laughs> Valentine in the past. I just shared mine. Let us know yours too. You know, those funny experiences that you've had in the past. Let us, you know, you never can tell. You can help any other person, you know, watching this, right? So, what does Valentine really mean to you? Yeah, so, that is the day where by so many people lose their destinies. Yeah, iPhone 11. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people can do anything. Yes, yeah. that right now. Yeah. But the sad thing is, in few years to come, yeah. that iPhone 11 will seem useless. 
Yeah. And you will then then you now begin to wonder, is this what um, I lost my virtue mm -hmm. for? Yeah. Like a lot of people lost it about ten years ago when um, 33 then yes, first know. came out. Exactly. <laughs> very, very funny. And now that that phone is it's not even in existence any yeah. longer. Yes. So you can imagine. <laughs> so so guys, basically, let us know your weird experience in the past. Let us know those funny experiences that you've had in the past. Tell us um, your Valentine story. Um, you can put the hashtag, hashtag my Valentine story <laughs> in the comment section. So let us know so that you can help other person. So um, that brings us to some of the things we want to look at today. So, okay, what are the ways you can show love for an individual on Valentine's Day? Okay. Do you, want, do you want Valentine cash or kind? Okay. I'll do this. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me be selfish. Let me be selfish. How okay. do you, or how will you, today, today is Valentine, so how will you show me love today? It's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> so, 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 should I still be expecting something? Okay. If I okay. tell you if you, if you should be expecting <laughs> something, then it's not a guy's surprise. Okay. But how should. We actually celebrate Valentine basically to to friends, so well, to people that we don't even know. It depends on um, how you see the meaning of Valentine to you. Okay. If it if it is um, about spreading love, mm. if it's about showing love to people, yeah. you can show love in different ways. You can show love by giving. What does love really mean to you? Mm. So to me, I feel love is sacrificial. It's putting others first before yourself. Okay. Love is um, seeing someone about to perish mm -hmm. and rescuing that person. By the way, I is Reverend Father, Reverend Father Francis, Reverend Father Val. <laughs> Do you know the story of Valentine? <laughs> um, I have a vague idea. Yeah, I, I think it emanated from the fact that there was a particular man who used to be a Reverend Father. And then uh, you know, he loves giving things to the yes. poor, to the needy, and all of that. Yeah. And I think when he passed on, to remember him, okay. I'm not sure about that story, but to remember him was how the day came about. Yeah. So um, now we have Valentine's Day. Yeah. So a lot of people are now using that opportunity to show to show love. <laughs> And their definition of love is actually vague. It's not yeah, the kind of love that we're talking about here. Love, it's not the sacrificial love. Mm. It's just about what flesh can offer them. Yeah. It's just about the um, one, two minutes enjoyment. Mm. It's just about going out, shopping, getting gifts, and okay. all that. Okay. So. so what is your view about you know, if you go to any shopping mall today, I was at the shopping mall today, and uh, what I saw really amazed me. It's crowded. Crowded, and then you see, I mean, everywhere was just painted red. You know, flowers and all that. So what, what's your view about giving flowers, cards, to your loved ones during Valentine? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm thinking like a Nigerian, so, like so, a Nigerian so, girl. My Nigerian mind now. Mm. Let's go for. So uh, we prefer something else than flowers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I think before we move to the next point of discussion, I think it's important for us to address this issue of care pressures, especially among teenagers and young adults, singles that are not married yet. Mm. It's important that you guys know that at this stage of or, or, or at this stage of your life, there is a tendency that you would want to move to, uh, to follow the trend. You want to follow the trend, and then you are attracted to the opposite sex. Okay. At this point of your life, you probably have that person you're tripping for. Yeah. You probably I mean, have. It's not bad. Yeah. Is how you handle it. Yeah. You probably have that person that you love. You probably have oh, that you person. Think you love. Yeah, you probably have a person that you're already thinking about that future. Cute you know, in your mind, you've already pictured all of that. They dreamed about. Yeah, 
and your intentions might actually be genuine. You know, a lot of people got married very early. Your intentions might be genuine, but the way you utilize or you express that love actually it matters. matters. A lot, yeah. From experience, I understand that what kills relationship. A lot of people wanted to get married to somebody. You have feelings for this person, and that feeling is very genuine. But because of the way you expressed your love to that person, it killed that relationship within a very short time. Okay. And one of the ways a genuine relationship, or a relationship that is going somewhere can be killed, is sex. Premarital sex. So I've had, I mean, I've got some friends that, you know, they will tell me that, ah, this lady should have been the one. I should have married this lady. But because she compromised. Yeah, but because somehow when sex is involved, the discussion, what you discuss about, you will not be in depth again. You will now be talking about, you know, it blinds you things. from, yeah, it, it blinds, blinds you, you from seeing um, the important things. Yes. It's blind to it. It disturbs your reasoning. Yeah. You can't reason well. Yes. So and I know that a lot of people, a lot of you that have gone through, you know, that have gone through what we're talking about right now, you understand. A lot of married people that have passed through this stage before in your life, you also understand. So it is important for you to know that if you really love this person, you need to... Love, love is not all about sex. Yeah, you need to, to be sane about it. You need to be intentional about it. And the second point is that some people just want to do it for fun. I don't love this lady. I really don't love her. Yeah, but Valentine period, I just must hook up with somebody. Yes, I remember another Valentine period. Another story. Of my wow, it seems you you will have so many nice stories. I've had some experience. terrible experience in the past. I remember the I, 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 I was I I I bad boy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I used to have this roommate. I used to have this roommate you know, in school as well. Before Valentine, we really prepared for Valentine Day. We went to we went to the exams. boutique to buy shirts. You know, I Seriously. remember Akets. <laughs> Akets shirts. You get. And then a day before that Valentine, I was feeling bad that I don't have a vow. Yeah, we call it a vow. That I don't have a vow a day before okay, Valentine. Okay. Someone to spend it with. Exactly. So my friend arranged somebody. For you? Yes. My friend used to wow. be my friend used to be a teacher. We were colleagues in school, but then we also, you know, side also teaching business. So one of the students, <laughs> one of the students that was preparing to write jam. Yeah, or to jam somehow. You know, he introduced the person to me. I never had any. Didn't the no, I, I never had any um, weird intention. Yeah, okay. but I just needed someone to Special spend that day with. While time yeah, that day. so that day, you know, a day before that time was the day I asked met her, met her and asked her if she would be my father. A day before that time. Wow! <laughs> so after much That's press. actually weird. You know, I heard something about that on the radio today and then um, I was almost thinking, how could that be possible? The guys were discussing and he, he said something about uh, on Val's Day, on Valentine's Day, some people we will meet up with people they never know anything yeah. about in places they've never been before mm -hmm. and not even in an open place. Mm -hmm. Then if something bad happens, you complain about... The girl, the girl on the phone, you know, the phone normally. But after I went, my friend now had to be convinced her. Over. Yes, because my friend also, you know, he has his own or he had his own vow. So on that day, so February that 14th, day yeah, maybe I think I was, you know, peer pressure thing. On that day, February 14th, one of us, we went out, four of us, so two know. guys, two so females, you know, we went to eat, to retreat, we went to photo studio to go and snap pictures with my red and white new shirts and all of that, you know. But now I'm thinking about it. It doesn't make sense. 
positive. So if you are in that position of or paradventure, you're seeing this video late, probably after you've done that escapade, you should be shaking the head for yourself. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. Because yeah. by the time you get to a particular stage of your life, you look mm -hmm. back and you say, What a waste. What was I doing? Because you could have used these opportunities to impact lives of people. You could have used these opportunities to do, if you know something, probably free trainings for people is a way of showing love. Giving information for free that you would normally charge for is a way of showing love. If you have things in your house that you don't need again, yeah, it's time to give need. to the people. is a way of showing love. You know, in a few years time, you will look back and then you will, you will be happy for yourself. Right? I'm not proud of that <laughs> moment again, but I could have been so happy if I had used that opportunity to reach out to people, to give out things because to people. Because you to use that to, to spread the love of Christ. Exactly. Yeah. So, basically what I we trying to tell you, we are trying to tell you that you should think about Valentine's in another um, life. And then, even when we're saying another like that's the real intention of it. Yeah. Alright. And the truth of the matter is that a lot of people know. They know this, but yeah, then because of pressure, social media pressure for you. Just want to follow the trend. If you check WhatsApp status, you know, I was checking my WhatsApp status and I see what people a lot of people are doing regarding Valentine. People have actually built a business around it. You know, people that are into, you know, it's not bad it's because, not, yeah, they, yeah, they are taking, yeah, you're trying to show, uh, yeah, but it. there is a very big economy around this period, mm -hmm. so people are making a lot of money around this period, yeah, this people, awesome. yeah, yeah. So, think about maximizing these opportunities to do something cool for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and for, others. and for others. We could build a business around this, you know valid business, not a business that will encourage people to go and so commit same. crime or sin. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And then you can also touch other people's lives. So on to the next um okay, I think we've said this. Let us know about your worst Valentine's Day ever. Uh, or should we discuss that or should we yeah, that open? You can, no, we can't talk about it. Okay, so do you have an experience yeah, worst Valentine's Day ever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That was back in secondary school. Are you serious? I think um chess too. It was funny because um then we will be paired in class. Okay. So we do something like a ballot. Okay. Write the name of everybody in class. I think they they put the name of the guys together and they put the name of the ladies together. So guys will pick from the ladies um, names while ladies pick from guys' names. So I picked this particular stubborn guy in my class. <laughs> <laughs> in my class. I didn't really like the guy. So So you did not really so that means that there were some other guys you were checking for. No like oh that you prefer. No, I did not <laughs> like him because he was troublesome. Okay. You know all this your classmates that tease you, that cause trouble in class. So I picked this guy and I decided that I was going to deal with him instead of. <laughs> yeah. I later gave him gifts. Yeah, we get fellow. Okay, you, you wanted to deal with an innocent guy. Which innocent guy? Very <laughs> guilty somebody. Okay. So on Valentine's Day, people were exchanging gifts. I brought a gift, but I kept it and decided to. Uh, my friend and I we decided to lure him into the back of the class, back of the building. And there was a like a um, reservoir being dug there. I don't even know what I was thinking. So what was your intention? <laughs> To make him fall into the reservoir, <laughs> it was empty though. <laughs> to make him fall into the reservoir, at least he should be stuck there for I some hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, ah, Think, thinking about this now, I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering what was going on through my mind. Is this my wife? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> so you're going to deny me because of Valentine's story. 
So you had the intention of throwing somebody into uh, no one that will pray, uh, no that will always pray. That's Who what? is that person that is digging me away from me? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just do two more discussions then. We'll call it a date and then watch out for next week's episode, right? Yeah. Do you think to be single is better? Yeah, do you think it's better to be single during Valentine period or to be married? Okay. See, the, being single is one of the coolest things that you can ever experience. Number one, being single will help you to think right you do so not you are not thinking no, right in the sense that i am but thinking right in the sense that you don't have any commitment really yeah. now if i'm going to think now my thought pattern will be in such a way that i would want to consider you mm-hmm. and my children so that means that there are some things that i cannot do that are very okay but because I know that I have people around, people. I won't be able to do that. Do you guess? I might have the intention to travel, to go do evangelism for some days and all of that. But because I know that I am needed at home, it's gonna it's gonna reshape my thought pattern. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. It gets. So as a single you have the liberty to do whatever you wanna do for God. If, and for yourself. And for yourself, really. If you if you're not very studious, if you don't read your Bible every day, Before trust me, by the time you get me. married, you will even forget about the Bible. It's gonna be difficult. Especially if you're living in some part of the world or some cosmopolitan cities that you will need to wake up very I early. Us. Yeah. That you need to wake up very early and then you close late. I remember at a particular time I leave my house midnight, I come back midnight. That means I don't see the sun yeah. when I'm leaving. Before the sun, the sun rises, yeah. When, whenever there is sun, I'm back. inside. Yeah. So I at least see sun. You get. So some people have that kind of work condition. You get. So being single, you can do a lot of things. You know, do many new things and all of that. Um, because by the time you get being married, sing, being single is not is not a disease. Yes. It's not I a, think. Um, we were watching a program yesterday and the lady was so so desperate to get married and then we discovered that this lady has not even developed herself. Yeah. You attract was, your kind of person. She yeah, she she she, she we can say she's depressed. Yeah. She's almost depressed. At twenty six years. Yeah, and she's just twenty six. And everything she was talking about is marriage is not coming and God is not working according to our plans. And uh, what will she do now? She can't continue living life like this. <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me, Auntie. Even if any guy marries this one now, she will be a body because she she has not developed herself. She doesn't have a vision or a plan for her own life by herself alone. It's like um, someone even mentioned like, oh. It's like this one was created to come and marry. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't she doesn't have um, a big picture of what she wants for a herself or a clear direction. Mm-hmm. All she wants is she wants a man. She yeah. wants to marry. She's getting old. She's not young again at twenty six. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so what should people that are thirty five, forty, mm-hmm. what should they do? If a 26 year old is already feeling depressed, I think the society has made us, uh, I mean, uh, society has put so much pressure on us, mm-hmm. and then we are feeling as if if you're not married, you are an out. Like you failed in life. Yeah, outsider. You're not part of the community. Especially in Nigeria, especially some, some, I mean, tribes in this country that. You know, when you get to some certain age, the pressure that will be mounting on you will be so heavy, and then uh, you need some and you know, courage. It's more, it's more, it's more to on hold. the it's more on the ladies exactly. than even guys, because then they start telling you your clock is ticking and all that. But the the unfortunate thing is that has put so many people in, in wrong, wrong relationships. relationships. Yeah. 
abusive relationships, wrong marriages, and all that. So, um, so this is to you, ladies, especially to the ladies that are of age, of marriageable, marriageable age. Don't be pressured. Yeah. We know that internally you can might feel some kind of pressure or worry. Yeah, but you see, everything is timed by God. Yeah, and your own time is it's not the same as another person's time. Exactly. Timing. Some people get married very early. Yeah. And then after a while, they will still rush out from that marriage. Some people got married very late. And then, you know, they stayed in that marriage for a very long time and they are fulfilled in that marriage. The most important thing is fulfillment. And getting it right. And getting it right. The most important thing is that that thing that God has called you for, called you to do, will you still be able to do it yeah. even after you okay. get? Those are the, some of the things that you need to consider. So yeah. please, it's you're not so late. Even before rushing into yeah. marriage. You're not too late. So, thank you very much. It's a season of love, Valentine. And then it is important, like we said once again, to redefine your meaning of Valentine if you've been getting it wrong. Valentine is not an avenue for you to start misbehaving with the opposite sex. Valentine is not an avenue for you to commit sin. Valentine is not, you must not go, it's not compulsory to go out on a date on it's Valentine. It's not an avenue to spend lavishly or waste money. Yes. A lot of or spend are irresponsibly. Of Amen. But that doesn't mean you cannot buy gifts. Yeah, you can. Buy for your, buy for your parents. Yes. Buy for your mom, buy for your dad. So you bring love with them. Mm -hmm. Show them love, show them affection. That neighbor that you have, show that neighbor some love, some affection. That a person that begs um, on, on the roadside, yeah. you know, package something and give to that person. Show that person love. It's not compulsory. It has to be um, a man to a woman man. that he is tripping for or something like that. We are not saying that yeah. is bad. Don't yeah. get us wrong. We are not saying that is bad. It's okay. But we are just trying to say She's go beyond the normal. Exactly. So go beyond the normal yeah. and spread love to yeah. people around you. Let them feel the love yeah. from you. So thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Click on the subscribe button down below. So if, you, if you want this without subscribing, <laughs> if you watch this <laughs> without subscribing, I'll follow. Okay, and yeah. if you have subscribed, okay. click on the like button and click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload anything, you will be get notified. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And happy Valentine's Day. Happy it's good to be married Valentine's. anyway. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <See> <laughs>